Hey, what's up? This is Adnan Klink, and this is going to be an instructional video on replacing or upgrading the RAM of the Acer Spyder 7741G 6426. I believe this also applies to the 7741 and the 7741Z. And let's begin. Uh, what you need is just your laptop, the RAM you wish to upgrade. Uh, I bought this from Newegg.com for about $40, and it is the fastest this computer can handle at 8 gigs for about $40. Uh, the second thing you need is a Phillips screwdriver. You can find these almost anywhere, and they're pretty cheap. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you should do is turn off the computer completely not just sleep or hibernation because that could potentially cause damage uh, if you were playing around with the innards of the computer. Uh, so anything you can do is take out the battery uh, before unscrewing the four separate screws on the removable back panel. You can see it, it's outlined here. And after you remove those four screws, which I did previous to the video, just to save some time, uh, you can pull up on this tab, uh, which basically loosens, or gets it out of the clips that hold it in. Uh, after you take that out, you can see the hard drive, which you can easily upgrade here too if you wanted to. You just pull on this tab here, it's a plastic tab, you pull it, if I can get it to come out, oh, my bad. You have to unscrew one last screw right here, and you can pull out the hard drive. After you'd pull it out, you would remove the hard drive from this metal container and screw back your new hard drive in its exact same spot before putting it back in. But to the RAM, to remove it, there are these little uh, little tabs you have to pull back here and here. Same goes with the other side. It's here and here. Okay, so you just pull back one tab and the other, and the, the RAM should come out at an angle. Same for the other one. Uh, then you just easily slide them out, and you'd probably want to save them, or possibly sell them. For me, this, this 4 gigs of DDR3, I could potentially sell if anyone's interested. Just send me a message if you are, and we'll get on to putting the new RAM, which is my 8 gig of DDR3. Okay. That came out easily. <laughs> And you will you there, you will see how to put them in uh, in their direction by this little tab here. This tab will line up perfectly with the tab on the hard drive slot or uh, RAM slot. So you just slide it into the slots, and then you just push down until the clips hold. Those clips that you pulled back originally will just move back into their correct spot and hold the RAM in place. Uh, and that really is all there is to switching the RAM. After this, you can just clip the cover back in, put in the battery, and test it out. If you are able to turn it on at all, and get to the BIOS screen, which just shows the Acer logo. Uh, that is basically a... Uh, um, it just basically says that it's on and it works. 
If it doesn't, you might have not pushed them in all the way, or the RAM itself is just not uh, supported. But either way, it's really not a difficult fix, and it should work. See, that's the BIOS screen, and it's good. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions or anything else you'd like me to do with this laptop, please leave a comment. I encourage it. Get bored without them. <laughs> okay. Goodbye.